Well, good morning, or afternoon, or evening, or whenever it is you're going to be watching this. Uh, Foster Ken here. I've done two other videos about the two main reasons I ride a motorcycle, and this video is reason number three. But I started doing it, and it just went on too long. I like to keep these things as short as I can, so uh, I'm going to do it in two different parts. So this is the number three reason I ride a motorcycle, part A. And it is the places you see places you visit. Man, when you're on the back of a motorcycle and you go to one of the millions of drop-dead gorgeous places on this planet, it is a grand gift, man. You can smell everything around. You feel the air. It's just, uh, it's just amazing. You take the mountains. And right here in my backyard, well, it's not my backyard. I live in California, so I call it my backyard. Anyway, uh, the Sierra Nevada. My, oh my, those things just stretch forever. I go north out of Southern California, and uh, there's a place there in, uh, just south of uh, Sequoia National Park. It might be part of the park, I don't know, but it's called Mineral King, and it is the home of Bigfoot. Yeah. Uh, get a six-pack of me, and I'll tell you about the time we wrestled to a draw. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, so, uh, and then you keep going north, and you g get up into uh, Yosemite, and you see, you've all heard of Yosemite, and a lot of you have been there. Uh, there's a reason it's so famous, and if you've ever been there, you know why. It's just amazing. And uh, there's another place up there called Lodge Pole, and not far from Lodge Pole is a little area called Grant's Grove, and it is populated by the giant redwoods. These things are enormous. They're glorious. If you haven't seen them, there's no way to imagine how big they are. I mean, get this. The bark is three feet thick three feet thick, the bark, and it's fire resistant and insect resistant. And there's a tree up there called the General Sherman, I think. It's 500 years older than the Bible. I mean, good Lord. Anyway, and you go over to the Rockies. Ugh, God, you talk about imposing and spectacular. It's just amazing. And the air is just crisp and bracing. And you, uh, like the million dollar highway from uh, Uri down to Silverton. And then you, you keep going down to uh, Durango. Ugh, God. Yeah. And then the northern Rockies in British Columbia. Man, there's, like I said, there, there are millions of drop dead gorgeous places on this planet. But the difference up there is the magnitude of it. I mean, they just go on forever. And you see these these valleys that just sneak between mountains and you, you just want to follow them and go there, you know. And then, and then there's uh, the Grand Tetons and uh, uh, Yellowstone. Uh, man, you've all heard of those places, right? And there's a good reason, because everybody that goes there, their jaw just drops and you think, God, I've never seen anything like this. And there's a highway up there called Beartooth Highway. Man, oh man, the day I was there, uh, the weather was just perfect. I mean, crystal clear air. You could just see forever, and I did. And then uh, there are other places, uh, what I call uh, from a distance beauty places, like the desert, you know, the Great Basin Desert, and the Mojave, and uh, the, the Midwest of the United States, and those sprawling farmlands up in Canada. You start going east out of British Columbia, you get into Alberta and uh, Manitoba and Saskatchewan. Boy, that land just goes on forever. And it just fills you, fills your chest with this, this idea that you just want to be as indomitable as that land is. And uh, it's just like nothing else. And then there are the rivers. Gosh, the Snake River. So much character in that sucker. I tell you, it's just bewitching. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I pulled up that word, but anyway, the Snake River, and then you got the Niagara River. Now, we've all heard of Niagara Falls, and for good reason, but there is a Niagara River, and it's not a small little guy, I'm telling you what. And then there's Yellowstone, and the Colorado, and the Great PD, and the Rio Grande, and the Three Platts, and my favorite, the Big Muddy. Yeah, the Missouri River. It's known as the Big Muddy. And uh, it's actually a tributary of the Mississippi. And that place where the big muddy flows into the Mississippi is a confluence of royalty right there. 
So there's the end of part A of uh, number three, reason I ride a motorcycle, the places you see. And before I go, i got to hawk my books. It's part of the deal. Anyway, <clears throat> Freedom's Rush, Tales from the Biker and the Beast, and Freedom's Rush 2, more Tales from the Biker and the Beast. And I write about all these places, or most of them, I don't know, I forget, in those books. Uh, no sex, violence, drugs, religion, or politics. It's just about the... People I meet, the places I see, and the things that happen. All good stuff. So, thank you for watching and listening. And uh, ride big, ride long, and ride free, my friends.